Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, a quick tour of the garden for the Green Fingers um, Facebook group for the before and after garden transformation. This is what our garden looks like before. It's a bit of a mess. This pond, uh, as you can see, the stream of the pond, the rocks have all come up, come away in, during the winter. You can see all the blue lining underneath. Uh, that pond needs a good spring clean. You can see the growth of the algae. We'll clean that. This bed needs fixing up and tidying and making look presentable. Uh, we need to find a place for that chimney pot because uh, it was where the pond now is. So we'll find a new home for that. I know we can put that. You can, you can put that in, in the next plant near the chimney pot. Okay. There are some of the plants that we've got growing. Um, so lots and lots you of put them in the garden. Yeah, lots of lots of onions. We put them in the garden to get some sun today, and then they're going in the greenhouse. Um, and there's some hodos growing in that tray. Um, these steps need redoing. Something needs doing with this because they look absolutely horrible. So we made this arch last year. It's handmade. The old greenhouse needs taking down and this is where I'm going to build a little shed, hopefully, if I get round to it. This uh, chicken pen still on my project list to get done. And we need to, and we need to paint it? And we need to paint it, yeah. Two eggs again? Let's have a look how many eggs we've got. Dad, two eggs. So there's a couple of eggs there and there's a couple of eggs. Three eggs, I think. Over there. <laughs> there are all my hens. Huh. Happy chickens. And you throw them the eggs. There's the eggs. <laughs> the grass is in need of a cut. We haven't got done the first cut of the season yet. We've, as you, you'll probably see on one of my earlier videos, this is what this is the garden bed that we redid, we extended by a couple of feet. Added fresh mulch onto there, and my daffs, my daffodils are starting to come up. So there's. A sorry looking rhododendron. There's my bench made out of pallets. It's a nice pallet bench. How good you painted it? Yeah. I think. My raspberry and strawberry patch. I'm going to move those raspberries from there this year and move them. I'm going to rebuild, I'm going to make a bed down that side. Uh, as you can see, I've started mulching it with paper. We'll add wood chips and stuff over the top of that and make it into a nice uh, f wild berries, uh, fruits, soft fruits. All of these are my strawberry bed. We've got some onions growing. All the brown, st all the brown stuff that you can see on the. Uh, on the top of the beds, all the brown stuff on the top of the beds, that's all manure. So this bed's been manured. There's some onions that we overwintered outside. Hopefully they'll, they're starting to perk up now, the weather's improving. There's a strawberry bed that you saw me make in one of my earlier vi videos. Something's been digging at them. Um, there's a couple of strawberry plants that have been taken out of the ground, like that one there. I need to replanting. So we need to have another look at that. Last little bits of spinach there. That needs to come out. We'll put some new ones in. We've got some volunteer garlic in this bed. We had garlic in this bed last year. And then some plants have volunteered and come up themselves. And this bed's been manured. Um, it's going to be used for potatoes this year. We've never grown potatoes in this bed before. 
it's normally used for salads and um, easy crops that we're going to eat quite uh, quite frequently so this bed is going to be used for potatoes this year now what I did with all these beds is over the course of winter I, I put um, wood chips all over the beds and what I've done since I got the manure <coughs> is I added um, bags of manure over the top of the wood chips the manure is quite well rotted down and it's already quite quite um, powdery but while it's drying I got this tip off one of the viewers and uh, she was saying that she lets the manure powder down and then use that use it in that form so um, what I thought was as soon as we get some sun we put the manure out we let it crumb dry up let it crumble and then as soon as it rains the rain will wash it wash it down um, and that'll help with any nitrogen depletion from the wood chips as well that's the bed that I'm going to use for potatoes there's my fixed bed for runner beans um, what we did with both the runner bean beds is we trench composted over the winter so we dug it out um, and lined the bottom with uh, rotted down wood and wood chips um, about two foot deep and then after that we just filled it with kitchen scraps uh, compost and then added the soil back and then mulched it with wood chips there's another bed we had kohlrabi here last year i think i'm going to plant lettuce or something here this is a nice small bed that's easily accessible uh, this bed we haven't manured this bed because we're going to put, put brassicas here um, there's still a bit of mustard leaves life at the growing here some of that was picked yesterday um, here's my garlic this is the first bed of garlic we planted this back in October time it's about um, 10 12 inches tall so I wanted to get an early start with garlic this year because we had real problems with garlic rust last year so I'm hoping um, that push on the season will give us a bit more of an advantage over the rust this is garlic bed number two so we grow enough garlic to last us through the year and it's ordinary shop-bought garlic some of the some of the garlic um, I'd normally save myself but given that last year was such a poor year with uh, garlic rust we didn't save any from for ourselves and it's just mainly shop-bought garlic as you can see these little bits of wood and this additional frame um, that's going to be a bed extension what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge the garlic bed one and garlic bed two together um, there's a lot of dock leaves here and a lot of cooch grass I'm not going to bother digging that up I'm just going to mulch over it I'm going to just mulch it heavily and then I'll probably put, add about uh, 8 to 10 inches of wood chips and compost over the top and that should be okay and hopefully the addition of the potatoes that'll um, smother out any weeds as well there's my pear tree number one that's yet to fruit or even flower these trees were all planted at the same time I mean I, I was going to prune these um, and keep them under a little bit of control but I've decided that I'm just going to let them grow uh, a little bit taller this, so that's apple tree number one uh, that's not fruited either yet um, and that's apple tree number two um, and that gives us a lot of apples every year but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let it grow a bit because they've built a dormer and that overlooks our garden so I want a bit of privacy from them and there's pear tree number two that pear tree fruited really well uh, a couple of years ago and then last year we only got three pears off the whole thing so that was a bit disappointing here we've got all my um, composting station 
bags of wood chips at the back, a bag of ericaceous compost, uh, ro semi broken down compost, finished compost, uh, all kinds of compost going on here. I'll give you a proper explanation on my compost at some point. And there's a new compost pile that's just started. There's a compost pile that will turn it in a few weeks. There's my worm bin. Um, you've see, I haven't done it yet, but the worm bin video, uh, the worm bin remodel is coming. Uh, so you'll see me harvest the worm castings, and you'll see me harvest. Uh, you know, I'll explain the process of how I've done it and what I've har how much worm castings I can harvest, and how I harv go about harvesting them. This whole side is going to be one long bed um, and I'm going to plant berries down this side. So as you can see I've got a couple of black currants there. Um, I've got some gooseberries and red currants in the, in the greenhouse that need planting out. But I can't do that until I finish making the bed. There's just so much on at the moment. There's a little cherry tree. Um, we'll keep that under a bit of control. Hopefully this year we're going to try and net it as much as we can because the crows always get the cherries before I get a chance. There's my plum tree that's starting to get a little bit out of control. Um, I need to prune that. It's getting a little bit too big. It's heading for the sky. <laughs> so I need to prune that. We're back to where we started with the strawberries. Yeah, I think this is in need of quite a bit of pruning. And I know um, people are heading for the central leader model um, when it comes to pruning. <coughs> and I know that um, now it's become the trend to do the central leader instead of the open goblet shape. I think the central leader will work quite quite well on this because um, it's already quite heading for the sky. So I think I'll take this whole limb out here, if anyone can see that. I'll probably take this one, no, this one out as well. Um, and give that a little clip up there. We'll see how that goes. We've got a couple of uh, raised bed boxes here. One's got more garlic in it. We just had some garlic. Um, we found a load of garlic that was saved from last year. Um, it was put in one corner of the shed um, and it was completely forgotten about. So uh, it, we found it and it started sprouting, so we, we put that in. In one raised bed here, um, and another little raised box bed here. There's my stack of tyres, uh, and they're going to be used for potatoes. There's my stack of tyres, and they're going to be used for potatoes. There's another little garlic bed. This is where I'm going to grow. Um, underneath what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant onions. And then this is my, um, my gourd frame. Uh, I'm going to plant my Bangla Khudu and all my gourds up here. Um, and it's just literally uh, a frame with sticks and stuff piled over the top. I'm, I don't go for anything fancy with, with buying all kinds of different trellises. It's just whatever twigs and sticks and stuff that I can find in the garden, that's all just going to go on there. It's going to be fine. Uh, once it breaks down after a year, it's just going to end up in the compost pile. The problem with the trellises that you buy from the shops, they're often um, pressure treated and it's not good to add pressure treated comp wood to a compost pile. There's a lot of chemicals. I know they say that um, the chemicals can be uh, are safe to use now, uh, I still don't trust it. The 
there's the greenhouse that we built um, so William if you're watching this I'll give you a, I'll give you the greenhouse in all its glory so there you go William that's the evidence of our greenhouse we we built this and in true uh, builder fashion I sort of got to almost the end and never finished the last little bits so there's a piece of wood missing a bit of cladding there missing it's all it's all there and we've all got it we've got it all uh, I just need to fit it and I couldn't be bothered towards the end um, so it's just made out of polycarbonate and timber quite easy to work with there's the front of the greenhouse see there's a piece of cladding that's supposed to fit across there and that'll hide all these joints um, there's some recycled doors I was throwing some patio doors out I grabbed them and recycled them there's a couple of pots of carrots um, there's my compost seed co uh, well um, I add that to make my seed compost mix it's for it's just worm castings and wood chip compost if we look over here those chili plants that I tried to overwinter didn't make it um, they, they look almost dead I've given up hope on them onions planted a about a week ago these this one this one this one and that one was planted about a week ago uh, these are the ones that you've seen me plant on the famous onion video uh, some flowers down there see all recycled plastic uh, egg trays uh, cake boxes mushroom trays any any kind of recycled plastic that, that we can any type of container that we could recycle we've recycled underneath the bench there's my peas coming up so uh, the pea video there's the peas coming up some more sweet peas coming up <laughs> see I'm posting the result before I've even posted the fact that uh, the the way I've planted these so that's uh, interesting I've got loads of footage just haven't got the time to edit it and put it all out uh, we've got some spinach in the greenhouse that's all going to come up we planted that just at the back end of um, towards the end of the season as we were taking out the Bangladesh Uri from here and what we did with that was we overwintered it it gave us some nice um, Heat, uh, spinach through the winter there's a couple of lemons they're not looking very good at the moment they're still trying to deal with the cold there's the red currant and the gooseberry that I'm yet to plant um, this one's quite got a nice story this is a little rose I'm not sure of the variety but um, I've actually managed to save this from um, some cut flowers so I got my wife some flowers um, and all the roses I just took the stems and I planted, I soaked them, soaked them in water and just let them try and root in there. As soon as I started, the bud started to open up, um, I put them in soil. There was about six in here but only one's made it but it's for free, I'm quite happy with that. There's a couple of mints that I've pop potted up from uh, the Egyptian mint. There's my Sharon fruit trees. Uh, they don't seem to be doing anything yet, so I'm just waiting on them. Let's see how they get on. Another tub of carrots. There's a lemon under there. Some more Egyptian mint there. I'm not sure what's in the, that bucket. There's some muki in there. Uh, muki are um, they're a type of tuber. I'll try and find you the English name for it. Um, they're related to edos, but they're not edos. There's my magic bucket. Um, it's got everything in there now, so um, I'm going to give that a good turning at some point. See what's going on inside there. 
there's a bucket of chicken manure I'm sure everyone likes to look at manure as much as I do there's some onions that we've planted out and there's where I planted my radishes the radish video went up yesterday and it's from about a week ago and as you can see they're already popping their little heads up so uh, we'll thin some of those out and we won't and we'll leave some of the others and there's my onions so that's a tour of my greenhouse and a full tour of the garden I'll leave it there Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Oh, da 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 da